I will be able to demonstrate what this theme means. Do you think that every gospel musician, once you, you, you want to make songs that are connecting with God, mm -hmm. do you think that you should have a relationship with God other than some people say it's, a, it's, it's business? I'm singing, at the end of the day, I'm making money. And so even if I don't feel it, once I'm making it and people are loving it, then that is it. But do you think as a gospel musician, you should have a relationship with God? You should. I don't, I, you should. Um, I, some people obviously think it's just a money making, for me it's not a money making venture. Um, there's a ministry that God has given me, he's given me, uh, so there's a purpose to what I do. Mm -hmm. The songs that he gives me are to, uh, is to help people. So our, our songs must be mini sermons that people can take with them. I know people take a, really a 35 minute sermon or a one hour sermon, but in my little five minute song or six minute song, they should be able to take something away, a nugget about who God is. Mm -hmm. So that's why I need to know God. Otherwise I cannot fully represent him even in the lyrics. Am I, and, and sometimes even in the voice, I can sit in front of two people. Mm -hmm. There's one person who has a nice song and it's a nice song mm -hmm. and it has great lyrics, but I can, there's, there's no spirit. Mm -hmm. It has no life. It doesn't give any life. Mm -hmm. Mm. Which is, because, I mean, we can even sing How Great Thou Art. It's a fantastic hymn. One person can sing and can tell, mm. he has nice vocals. He's, he, I mean, no flats, fantastic riffs, fantastic ad-libs, but uh, it's dead. There's no holding in. It's empty. Mm.